over two decades ago. Shaoxing native Wang Mingzhong brewed several jars of Huangjiu yellow rice wine for his newborn daughter. Today is the day he opens them. With the passing of the seasons, the wine has lost its sharpness and has become smooth and mellow. He felt that, in this lifetime, he wanted to brew wine for his daughter to express his joy at the birth of the girl and his wishes for the future life. This local custom has been carried on for at least 1,700 years and the wine has a beautiful name, Daughter's Red Wine. Huangzhou is unique to China. Shaoxing, a city in Zhejiang province, with its water and rice, is uniquely suited for brewing Hangzhou. The scent has wafted over this ancient town for over 3,000 years. As winter begins, nature has prepared the best conditions for the brewing. Even in today's industrial production, Hongju is still made by hand. According to the ancient brewing methods, there are over 30 different steps to brew a jar of Hongju, such as making Chinese yeast, soaking rice, steaming rice, putting into jars, stirring, fermentation, and fermentation after sealing the jars. Though the process is complex, these winemakers still believe that the touch and feel of human hands is exactly what makes wine great. Taking advantage of the low temperature of the early winter morning, Guo Chiri stirs the steamed rice that was made the night before. Stirring is the process of exhausting carbon dioxide from the fermented rice and delivering fresh oxygen. It is the most tested step for winemakers. Temperature is important. High or low temperature will affect the quality of rice saccharification and fermentation. With constant regular stirring, the rice under the influence of yeast, wheat koji, water and air begins its journey towards becoming wine. Unlike rice wine, which is fermented only once, Huangzhou undergoes secondary fermentation, making the wine more mellow. Thousands of jars exposed outdoors. Jars allow the wine to breathe. They will be left here to pass the winter. Once the wine is brewed and sealed, it continues to ferment, waiting for the right moment. I Wangju has a mellow, sweet and sour taste, but it is not overpowering. In southern China, Wangju is often used to cook gourmet foods, such as Xiaoxing chicken, drunk shrimp and drunk crab. Southern China's winter is cold and humid. Wangju is traditionally warm to entertain guests, to drive away the winter chills, and to warm the soul.